Alright, so boys, you can't actually see my face right now, and the lighting in the video is very low, because this video is going to be more of a quick video, because I have my PC right in front of me, as I'm sure all of you know, uh, I've been waiting for this thing, and doing things, planning for this for a very long time, and boys, it's here, so I'm not going to do any further explaining, I'm just going to open this thing up, because that's all I want to do right now, and we're going to do it, boys. So, this one isn't actually a custom Cyberpunk PC, you guys can already tell. It's actually the Gamer Ultra G Wave. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Um, 3400, I believe. So, this is actually an actual model, because I know the only type of Gamer Ultra unboxing type of thing I've seen on YouTube before is the GUA Gamer Ultra, or Gamer Ultra GUA 880, which is a completely different computer. And. Yeah, so this is the first unboxing of this PC on YouTube, so that's an accomplishment, because obviously on Amazon reviews, there's it there. By the way, if you guys plan on buying this on Amazon, 500 bucks, um, fairly cheap for this PC. AMD, uh, FX6300, 6-core processor with a Radeon R7250, but, um, it gets in stock and runs out within a day, so... It gets in stock like every month and runs out in a day. So that's pretty crazy. But as you can see right here, that is the uh, little model of the front of the case. And it has a little padding on top. I'm sure it has it on the bottom too. And then it comes with the keyboard, which I don't know how much use I'll get out of this. Because I do have a chiclet styled keyboard that I do enjoy using. And I do have the lighting a little bit lower in my room right now. Uh... But yeah, so there's a keyboard, I'm going to put it back there. And I have the mouse down here, which is the Aza gaming mouse. No, this is actually different, this is the official CyberPower one. So here's the mouse as well, and I actually ordered a Cooler Master mouse, the Cooler Master Xenon, I think it was. I never did an unboxing of it, even though I said I would, but there's the mouse. And here's the actual PC here. So... I'm not sure what MLG skills I'm going to be using to get this out of the box, but I have an idea to back this up. Alright, phone battery just dd there, but back to the MLG um, opening the box -ness. Um I'm just going to slide it on its side and slide it out. I guess this is going to be my best option here. Alright, so... Jesus, this thing's huge. Uh, Alright, so slide that out, and the box has more padding on the bottom, which I suppose I'll just throw over there. And put the box over in the corner, right back here. So now, I guess we're going to open this box up. Alright, so we're going to put the knife over here. Alright. Can't find where the tape is. Is that it? I don't even know where the tape is. I'm hoping this has more padding on top and don't break anything. I'm actually gonna start on the side because the tape in the middle is really closely put together. Alright, yeah, okay, alright. Put it in the middle. Should probably scoot this forward a little bit more. Apologies for my room being a mess. My room is a mess and I tried to scoot all the other clothes and stuff out of the way. Because you don't want to see the rest of my room, boys. You don't. Jeez, this whole box is the computer. God. This thing's ginormous, man. Compared to the computer I'm running on now, which can only run Minecraft, not even at 60 FPS. This is, um, an accomplishment, boys. I'm sharing it with you guys, because I'm sure you guys know this is the thing I'm going to be making my videos on now. Uh, and I feel really generic saying that, because in all the unboxings I see, everyone says, I'm going to be making my videos on this now, and then they quit YouTube. Which, I'm not going to quit YouTube, obviously. I don't, I don't know what goes through their head to say that and then just lie, but... I don't know how we're going to get this out, boys. I guess the same concept. So... Lay it on its side, and back it up, 
and then slide it out. Well, huh? All right. Might be a little bit harder than I thought. All right, there you go. I just tried to like sniffle, but I like, I don't know. I don't know if you could hear that in the video, but I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, there were handles on the side here that I didn't even see, which you guys probably can't even see, because I don't know how I'm going to show it to you. But there was handles on the side this whole time, and I could have used those somehow. But, besides that, there's some huge boxes in the back now. And here's the actual computer. This thing, I thought I was going to fit in my desk, on my desk. Because, I know what dimensions it is, because I saw it on Amazon, of course. But, I, this looks bigger in person. So, slowly slide the styrofoam off. Put it on its side. And here, boys, I think I'm going to pause the video, so I can unplug my PC, and not, yeah, have everything die. Very quickly before my phone DEDs again, this is my PC that I've been using. It's an Acer like Aspire X some shit. It has 4 gigs of RAM and like a 500 gigabyte hard drive. By the way, I have this game. Shout out to my sister. Love my sister, man. She got me that as a present. I Yes, I know I'm a Christmas kid because I waited to get a PC instead of like play on PS4 or something. Because I wanted a PC. So, that's the only reason for that. Well... I'm sure it could have came out where I was a Christmas kid with a console too, but it worked out with a PC, which is great. So, need to undo all the cables here, the HDMI and everything. All the USBs. By the way, I have like some of the best cable management like I've ever seen. The only bad thing about my cable management personally is either this over here, which is hanging down to a power cord, which is really unhealthy. Or this auxiliary cable that, like, doesn't tape to the bottom of my desk. Anyway, I have it on a three-ring binder. Let me see if I can get a better thing. Yeah, I have it on a three-ring binder, which is pretty beast. I don't know if I do say so myself. Uh, so, yeah, I guess now, boys, it's time to hook up the PC, boys. Yeah, so I completely underestimated uh, 20 inches. This is, um... Like, bigger than both my monitors combined, vertically and probably sideways. Roughly, this behemoth, I say behemoth, and then there's probably people out here with, like, a PC four times as big as mine, like a wall PC or some shit. But, um, yeah, this PC is, a like, roughly 20 by 9 by 19 inches. It says 20 by 20 by 8 online, but I don't know how quite, uh, accurate that is don't know but that'd be to run amazon is so hard like you have to like measure like everything so on the pc obviously the power button is up here and i guess this is a restart button so there's a power and restart button it has a headphone jack and a microphone in i believe that is yeah and then it has a usb 2.0 and then a usb 3.0 on the front, I'm actually going to turn on the light so there's a little bit better lighting. But it doesn't really look like better lighting. It just looks weird. That's why I had the lights off. So it has a M-Disc. I don't even know if that's a DVD or CD. Probably DVD. Um, drive, and then it has stuff here. Switches in the front. I have no idea what the hell this is. is it to take off the... Yeah, I guess so you can open it up. And access some stuff easier. I have no idea how all that would work. But, uh... Alright, so I just put that back in before I break anything. And by the way, I'm super excited. And 
I wasn't even gonna think. I was gonna think about like not doing a video on this. Well, I want to share this with you and always have this on my channel. First real PC. Well, that yeah. Honestly, I'm always gonna remember that little shit over there, and there's my messy room. But because that thing like got me through some hard times, man. You know. But, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and try to hook this thing up more, and then I'll be back with you guys. And for some of you people who even came here just to see the back of the PC and what um, ports it has, this is the back of it. It has a the older, oh, that's kind of cool. It has the older um, type of slots for the old mouse and keyboard. It has a VGA and then a DVI. It has what looks like six USB 2 ports and the three for the audio cables here. And then it has an Ethernet cable. And come back down here where the Radon R7250 is, it has this little thing, which I don't know what that is, I guess that's to lock it in place. And it has a, another VGA and another DVI, so you can hook up to four monitors in stock form here. Which is, it's just crazy. Uh, and then down here it has the, it says 115, Illuminati confirmed, um, it says 115 in that little red chip, I don't know what the hell that is, but, uh, and then it has a little power switch, a little fan down here, and then the actual power cable there. This is MSI here. Another fan. So yeah, that's what the back of this looks like. Now I'm gonna hook it up. So this is officially a featured video. 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 This is officially a featured video with Spicy, also known as Hot Wheel. Trying to eat cactus. What are you doing? The setup is looking a little bit cleaner. The wire management, it's there, but. I don't know, it's not as good as it was, or maybe you'll think it's better. I sort of just threw everything onto the uh, three rings. So, it's off the floor for the most part, that's all I need. Uh, <clears throat> no one looks under the desk anyway. But, so I think we're about to boot it up for the first time. I had a little bit of trouble trying to hook this uh, auxiliary cable uh, up to the PC, because the cables are a little bit higher, or the ports. So I had to actually get a staple gun and staple around the wire, which I didn't get into the wire, so don't worry about that. Uh, I had to staple around the wire. It's still pretty loose, so it's just hung up there, so don't worry about that. I didn't get into the wire, so, so don't like, flip out. The microphone still works. So I guess I'm about to boot it up for the first time. I'll probably need to get all the other things that I need. So boys, it's booting up. It's working, boys. It's not recognizing this monitor yet. A. Yeah, it's not recognizing this monitor. And I don't know if it will or not until I uh, completely start up the PC. Is the... Do I even have a... Yes, I do. I have a DVI cable hooked up. It's Windows 10, if you couldn't already tell. If you didn't know. So I guess I'll see you guys when it does something. Or I guess it's about to do something. I don't know. Hold on. And it has a little guide on how to install... Wait. Am I supposed to put the processor in there? Hold on. I... I guess this is just a pamphlet. I swear, if they gave me a processor, then I need to put a processor in there. So there's a Windows 10 thing, um, and some more MSI stuff. So, yeah, I think I'm good. I think it's ready to boot up and everything. Cause I was about to flip out. Like I just start the computer without a processor. All right. So they got setup stuff. I'll do this stuff. The PC is actually a little bit loud. Um. I don't think I mind that because I don't know if my computer, my microphone's actually going to pick that up in the video. But if you can hear this. So I also have a fan on, so I'm going to turn off the fan. So I turn my fan off. But you can still hear the actual computer. Which I guess I don't mind that, but. So this is a Windows 10 copy in case I need to ever factory reinstall a clean copy of Windows. And here is a um, drivers, I'm guessing, for the graphics card. And then, well, these are the drivers. 
and this is um get some soft we'll have to look at it after but uh yeah so these are the three discs it comes with time while i'm <clears throat> installing other stuff trying to re-download the drivers for my uh wi-fi adapter etc i'm going to open the keyboard and mouse and show you guys all right so i opened up one side even though i'm, so, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to open up both sides and latch it back like this uh yeah that's actually what you are supposed to do but i didn't so we're just gonna slide this out all right so i just slid the keyboard out and here is the cable it um I don't know what kind of cable this is. It's not a normal cable, and it's not braided, but if I can get it to focus, you're probably not ever going to be able to see it, but it, um, it's textured, and sort of the way if you rub your finger like this on it, you can feel it has like little lines and stuff on it, so it's textured, and yeah, it's just normal, uh, USB, it's not gold plated or anything, obviously, because this is a free thing with the keyboard. The keys do actually feel really nice, I have to admit. So here's the uh, Acer Chiclet style keyboard that I like to use. And uh, I actually might use this, because it feels really nice. If you hear that. So yeah, that's uh, what it sounds like. And of course, I have some rubber rubber feet and stuff in the back uh, for that use. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll use this right now or not. Uh, this video is probably going to end up being a little bit longer than I'd like to. But, uh, yeah, there's the uh, keyboard. I'm going to take off all these little stickers versus cyber power. Uh, and it has function keys over here that really do sound pretty wobbly and cheap but um volume up volume down fast forward or backwards or vice versa or uh either, this is either rewind or just go back and then here is a internet explorer button mute audio pause slash play and i guess is a headphone button i don't know what that would do um maybe it switches between headphones and speakers possibly i don't know but, uh, yeah, so there's the, uh, keyboard, even though I said that, like, twice. So now into the mouse, which I know I'm probably not going to use, because I have this, uh, it's called a Zornit. The CyberPower PC Zornit for, uh, like, claw mouse, which I hold my mouse like a claw, like this, so that's why I got that mouse. So pulling the mouse out, the, uh, it has the same type of little weird-feeling cable to it, which I can't explain. I'm sure it feels pretty durable. Or it is pretty durable. And this mouse looks really fancy. Uh, it has... Whoa. Alright, I'm just like sinking in this mouse right now. This is a nice mouse. I like this mouse. Um, I guess it has three, four dedicated side buttons here. Two here. One really different one up here, so this might, these two might be like DPI buttons or something. Actually, no, these are DPI buttons. I don't know what DPI this mouse has. It might say it on the box. Um, 4,000 DPI. This mouse has a 2,000 DPI. This mouse has a 4,000 DPI, and it feels nice. Um, plastic feels uh, decent. And yeah, so there's the mouse out of the way. Wasted like 10 minutes of my life looking at these keyboards. The keyboard, I like the keyboard. The mouse is, uh, they're both good, but I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm going to install the drivers for the graphics card, I'm supposing. Sorry if I sound like a noob. Um, I guess? Or the processor? I don't know. So I guess I'm gonna just put these discs in the computer and see what the fuck happens. Alright, so these are drivers for kind of fancy stuff. So I guess I'll try this one. I think I have a name for my PC. Big Butt Cream! I have a name for my PC. Big Butt Cream! Here is where I guess I'm going to do these small benchmarks to see FPS on certain games. So here I'm just going to do a Minecraft world. Uh, <clears throat> this doesn't have Optifine yet. 
because I haven't installed Optifine yet, this is just a normal world, and I guess I'll do some settings and then see what happens. I guess first I'll do all max settings, and then after that I'll do lower settings, which personally I don't really care about graphics when it comes to Minecraft at least. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to do my settings that I would personally do. So... Alternate blocks, I guess. I'm just gonna turn everything off first. And then... Alright. So there, now, uh, in a normal world like this, you're getting a... 130? 120? 100? So it hasn't gone below 100 yet, so you're getting a solid 100. Which I'm already really excited to start playing some Minecraft, because, yeah, it's gone down to 101. Uh, highest I've seen so far is 130. When you look at the ground, or with no um, things around you, this is going to a dirt thing, you're getting about 270? 277. So you can't even barely even see that, my bad. So these are just small benchmarks, I'm not going to be recording or anything. Uh, during this right here, so just run around punching and stuff hasn't gone below 100. These are on all, all low settings, remember. Um, so I guess I'm gonna turn everything up to back up. I guess I'll turn this up to 16 chunks. All fancy, and I guess that I didn't turn entity shadows shadows. I didn't turn entity shadows off a second ago. When I was um, going for all low settings, I guess that would have gave me an extra couple frames. But um, yeah, lowest I've seen so far about here was about 70. So you're still getting a solid at least 60 uh, with all basically max settings without Optifine. So I guess we're going to uh, Optifine now. All right, so I'm loading up this world with Optifine on now, and I guess we're gonna. Uh, max out everything again because since Optifine basically doubles all your uh, settings, we're going to max out everything once again. So I don't have uh, shaders yet, so I guess I will go install some shaders after and do some of that stuff. Uh, after that, animations all on. Um. I don't know what would be high settings in this stuff. I'm going to turn on show FPS to make that easier. Uh, quality. And I guess all this stuff is already pretty um, maxed out, I guess you could say. So, it, except for the uh, 32 extreme render distance, it still doesn't even drop below. Uh, with Optifine on all this stuff, you get a whole solid 150 plus 47. Um... Yeah, so you get a solid, oh, went to 100, and it dropped down to a 60, 48. Um, I guess because I'm going to the water. Let's gonna do some real tests. I don't know, it dropped down to a 60, and then up to a 250 earlier. So I don't know what's going on with the FPS, but, um, it does fluctuate, and there was a lag spike there down to 20 FPS, 16. So I'm, I guess, I think that's the, uh, extreme me running around doing stuff, which I don't know why anyone would ever play on extreme. But, um, a 14 would be a normal thing, so that's a solid 200. Uh, 198, 180, 170, 216, 160. So it does fluctuate a ton, 50. Um, I'm really because all of these max settings, and I guess I'm going to turn them down now. So fast, off, down, uh, performance. What's going to... FPS stabilization. Well, that did not stabilize the FPS. Um, fast render. I'm going to turn that off. Turn that down to 13, I suppose. Alternate blocks off, I suppose. So, that, that that's um decent FPS. I'm not sure what's going on right now. Uh, it is lagging a ton. Maybe it's AVG doing stuff. Huh. It is definitely doing some stuff right now. So I guess I'm going to leave Minecraft on this note. 
Um, and I should probably dedicate more RAM. I'll do that really quick. Yeah, Minecraft did just crash on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and dedicate some more RAM. I'm pretty sure uh, it might help. So I'll start the game back up, and I think I might have known what the problem was for all that lag spikiness. Alright, so it seems like every time I dedicate more RAM, it's not quite working. Oh, I think I got it to work 3 gigs of RAM. So, did I get it to work? Did it crash again? No, it should be alright. So I have a, I'm having small issues with Minecraft, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be um, that big of a deal. Um, sorry if you guys are, like, thinking I'm taking too long. I'm just trying to, you know, do some quality stuff. Uh, so now it's back. Uh, a quick restart with 3 gigs of RAM. Uh, probably because I am on a freaking 32-bit Java. I didn't know that. But that's whatever. I don't feel like going and installing a new uh, thing of Java. So a solid, uh, on all low settings, a solid um, 150 FPS, 160. I'm going to turn it down and see if I can fix no it wasn't huh i was thinking that the reason it was uh getting all those lag spikes because the auto save was on a two second which uh is what uh causes those lag spikes and stuff so yeah i'm um, a decent uh good good if you guys count here so um on normal minecraft without a texture pack either um so yeah was, uh, i guess we're going on to the next game, I suppose. Alright, so I went ahead and loaded up a CSGO. And, um, so this is the next game I'm going to be doing some tests on. So, everything else is on high, very high. I'm just going to leave everything on the default uh, recommended settings. And I'll go to game settings, and I'm going to turn on the enable console. Uh, back, I'm going to go to tilde. I'm going to do net underscore graph one. And on the home screen, I'm getting uh, 120 FPS, so uh, I guess I'm going to go into an offline game with bots. I'm going to go to Deathmatch Baggage, just for a small map, and I guess I'll turn on Easy Bots. And um, I guess we'll see what FPS I get um, in the game, and I guess I might record this to see how fast the game loads. I'm not sure how much different it will be. Actually, no, it's loading pretty quickly, actually. Um, surprisingly. So, I don't know if we'll cut this. Should I cut? Should I make a cut? Should I make a cut? Alright, another five seconds. See what happens. Oh, starting 300 FPS. 200. 200. 150, 200, 100, alright, the game's starting, get into the game, and in game you get about, uh, on basically all high settings, you get a solid 60, so I do need to actually configure some uh, other settings for myself, uh, as such as shift and stuff, which I don't know, it's control for, um, a crouch originally which I like to have mine to shift and I also need to update my sensitivity um, so I'm gonna do that uh, game wait no it's like just normal sensitivity isn't it uh, sense science sensitivity 5 yeah that's good um so a solid 70 -ish so far 90 um, on all high settings. Personally, I'm not a big dude for graphics. I could care less about them, so I'm going to turn everything on low, 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 multi-core rendering. I don't know if this stuff will do too much. Um, so we'll do that. And anything disabled. And let's see what this does. Is it P for apply? No, apply. Let's see what this does. Oh, I think it crashed my game. Oh, no. Alright, so it's spiking up from... Well, I don't even know. Uh, when I move really quickly... Well, right now it's staying in the triple digits. One... 
Yeah, it's going down to 90, uh, 60. So it's not going under 80, it seems. So, so far, it's pretty good on the lower settings. It runs it at a smooth, depending on what your monitor hertz are. Uh, I have a 60 uh, refresh rate, or my monitor hertz are 60. So, yeah, I really need to change some of my settings. But, um, yeah. Alright. So, I don't know what other test I should run on this game, at least. So, I guess we'll go to the next game in a second. Um, see, so yeah, I was really smooth. I'm really pleased with this computer so far. It does really everything I need it to do. I don't want to, I don't, well, I don't need a PC that can run, like, every game at, like, a solid 200 FPS. Um, I'm perfectly fine with a solid 60, at least, so it can run, um, really games. Um, for the next game, is going to be a little bit more demanding, so I'm sure you guys can guess what game I'm going to be running next. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next game. Right, so this is about a jillion hours later, um, after I recorded that last little clip there of the CSGO, I believe it was. Um, and because it just took for me forever to download this game... And do some other stuff, because I did get caught up with other stuff. So, we're on Black Ops 3, obviously. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a lot different. I am a little bit tired. And you can see the FPS in the top right corner, which is at 45 right now. I have everything essentially basically on low. And you're getting a solid 45. Um, and these are on completely default settings in that manner. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit. So, I do need to change some settings. I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Alright, so I went ahead and configured a little bit more settings, so, um, and while I was doing that, you know, stuff did happen, of course, in the game. So, um, so far you're getting a solid 40, I guess I would say, and sorry about my accuracy of stuff, I just, I don't even know. So, yeah, about a solid 40, I'm still gonna use the controls, of course, and there are a lot of bots on, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't have put as many on, uh, so apologies for that. But a solid 40, even though I've said that a million times, I'm just getting spawn killed, like, off the bat, every time I spawn in. So, um, I haven't seen it go below 40 so far. It's going between 40 to 50, which is fine by me, it's fairly smooth, and I would say this is a little bit more on the demanding side of, uh, a game, and it's, um, FPS, etc., so, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with 40, I can play like this, and unless you, like, really have, like, a better monitor, like, like, a hundred refresh rate or something, uh, this should be alright for most of you, and before I just start doing drugs, uh, I'm probably gonna get some sleep in a minute and eat some food, cause I haven't really eaten really anything all day, uh, I ate, like, some sausage or something. But other than that, uh, I really need to do something. Besides, uh, do stupid shit on this computer. So, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish up this game here. And try to beat these bots. God, accuracy on fleek. And I have everything on low, of course. And I basically turned down everything I could to be able to get more FPS. And I'm sure there still are ways out there that I can get a little bit more FPS out of this. So, I'm going to try to beat the bots. No. Beat the bots. Alright, so, that's BO3 multiplayer. That was obviously with bots. Um... So I guess, you can see my hand there, so I guess I'm going to jump into a zombies game really quickly, hopefully that doesn't take too long, but I'm going to jump into a, uh, yeah, a zombies game. Alright, so jumping into a zombies game, everything does feel a little bit smoother in the zombies game, it feels like, probably because there's not as many people around, even though I am getting a solid, um, 40, similar FPS, a little bit more probably, because there's not as many people around. Um, but yeah, so... I guess I'll just uh, play a little bit on zombies here now. Everything is running really smooth right now, and 
I am a, still new to PC, I'm sure there's a lot of you know, to uh, Call of Duty on PC at least, for the most part. So I'm just going to shoot these zombies, I'm not going to try to do any point things, I'm just going to end the game after this video anyway. So, um, yeah, boys, so, I guess this is, um, the benchmarking for this PC, the CyberPower PC Gamer Ultra GUA3400, link will be in the description, um, PC is great for the value, it does everything I really want it to do, and it's great, so, I guess that's about it for this video, I'll go ahead and finish off this round, I suppose. And then I will, this video is going up on a Wednesday, so tomorrow is going to be a GTA San Andreas uh, video that I recorded on my old PC, so that's going to be a little bit of an older video, or lower FPS, I guess I could say. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this actually helped you with something, um, maybe whether even you should decide to buy this over the GUA 3100, which is another CyberPower PC that's fairly popular on Amazon for a very similar price. And uh, maybe this helped you um, do some small benchmarking. So, uh, I'm really excited. So, I think I just need to get some fucking sleep. So, that's about it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed, a like would actually be very much appreciated. I know I don't really ask for likes as much as I used to, or uh, really that much really at all. But that's about it for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.